appreciation makes most people feel better than almost anything you can give them. I thank God for all who have never failed to show appreciation and gratitude during my time here in San Diego. I stand on your shoulders. It's because of you that I've been named Mr. San Diego 2019, and I thank you for your love and constant support. And at the top of the list, there's one person that made all of it possible. I was 28 and my wife Maria Elena was 26 when we climbed into a rider truck and drove to San Diego from Detroit with a two-year-old sitting between us. The eldest of 10 children, Maria cried for 250 miles as we departed with her family on the curb. We celebrated our 43rd winning anniversary. 40 have been here in San Diego. Maria has been my soul and inspiration and the matriarch to our family of five children while sharing me with San Diego since 1980. During my 28 years in Detroit, I was always blessed to have a dream team of elders in my corner. Perhaps the wisest person I ever met never graduated from high school. My father joined the Army at age 16 and was a proud veteran of World War II and the Korean War. When we discussed the opportunity for me to join Smokey Gaines as his assistant basketball coach at San Diego State, he did not hesitate to give his endorsement, having been here during his time in the military. But he quickly added, be thankful for what you have. Nobody owes you anything. When I got the call from the San Diego Rotary past presidents that I would be the 2019 recipient of the Mr. San Diego Award, I understood the significance after watching this ceremony for 25 years. As a member of the San Diego Rotary Club, Joseph Dreyer became the first Mr. San Diego awarded by the Grant Club in 1952, the year I was born. He was president and founder of the Heaven on Earth Club an organization devoted to attracting as many newcomers to San Diego as it could by touting the area's weather. A furniture store owner, Dreyer devoted much of his time to urging his fellow San Diegans to send postcards to their relatives in the East, touting the helpful benefits of continuous sunshine. 67 years ago, Dreyer said, if you try to do some good for the community, you do good for yourself. The best assets you can have are a lot of friends. San Diego does not owe me a thing. I owe everything to San Diego. I am a lucky Joe. I know the feeling. My real San Diego story started in New Orleans, Louisiana. In 1987, after San Diego State decided to move in a different direction after we suffered two losing seasons, our entire basketball coaching staff was sent to the NCAA Final Four Basketball Championship where many unemployed coaches searched for their next job. The five winning seasons that preceded those two did not matter. The WAC Tournament Championship and NCAA appearance in 1985 did not matter. I had opportunities to continue in coaching, but all would mean relocating my family from San Diego to chase a bouncing ball. Instead of sitting in the Superdome to see Indiana beat Syracuse by one point in person, I watched the game from my hotel room after making the decision I wanted to move in another direction while creating a business plan on a daytimer sheet that would allow our family to stay in San Diego. While San Diego State suffered 12 losing seasons out of the next 13 years, I subscribe to the belief a setback is nothing but a setup for a comeback. After all, it's not how many times you get knocked down that's important. What's important is how many times you get up. Throughout my life, I've been blessed to have a lot of Hall of Famers in my corner. Melvin Franklin from The Temptations lived two houses to the left. The Rock and Roll Hall of Famer thought I could be president. Dick Nitrain Lane from the Detroit Lions lived two houses to the right. The Football Hall of Famer sent me the template for the San Diego Police Athletic League that was modeled after the Detroit PAL program. Bill Norton and Brother Rice High School is in the Michigan High School Coaches Association Hall of Fame. He thought I could help him win a state championship, and we did in 1974. I was 21. Dick Vitale is in the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame. He took me to the NBA Detroit Pistons at the age of 26. Tony Gwynn was our point guard at San Diego State. The Baseball Hall of Famer always called me coach. And having been at the Jackie Robinson Family YMCA for 22 years, I know he wasn't only a Hall of Famer. Jackie was a recipient of the Presidential Medal of Freedom and constantly reminded all, life is not a spectator sport. If you're going to spend your whole life in the grandstand just watching what goes on, in my opinion, you're wasting your life. He died at the age of 53. The Honorable Leon Williams and Deborah Zaykay, both recipients of this award, 
and they are both 97 years old. They constantly let me know how they are in my corner, along with 102-year-old Theo Logan. They never fail to let me know how much they value and appreciate me. Then there's the YMCA. It all began when then COO Dick Chapel sent me a letter in 1997 asking if I could help him market the vacancy at the Jackie Robinson Family YMCA. I responded with a list of prospects for him to consider. Dick then called and asked if I would have an interest and then sold me on the mission and mentored me in helping lead our Y to where it is today. Current President and CEO Baron Hurdland Doherty made it his top priority to build a new Jackie Robinson Family YMCA that would serve more kids and families in an equal way to every other YMCA in San Diego County, which is now the largest YMCA association in the nation. Current COO Charmaine Carter is responsible for me leaving the place I've called home for 22 years to become the vice president for mission advancement for the entire YMCA of San Diego County. The Jackie Robinson Family YMCA has been serving southeastern San Diego since 1943. I stand on the shoulders of so many inspired board members, staff, volunteers, and donors that have contributed to this beloved community and institution. And there is Rotary. I was inducted to Club 33 as an honorary member in 1994. Rotarians immediately learn about the four-way test used by Rotarians worldwide as a moral code for personal and business relationships. Is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? I am a witness of seeing this in action every day. I learned as an athlete and coach, teamwork is simply together everyone achieves more. As a leader, it is my responsibility to inspire self-motivation in others to achieve the goals of the team, but there's more. The general task of leadership involves the process of bringing new and generally unwelcome realities to an individual, group, organization, or society and helping them adapt successfully to it. Sports taught me the difference between a champ and a chump is you. The different the YMCA taught me the difference between care and cure is you. By standing on a mission of being dedicated to improving the quality of human life, and helping all people realize their fullest potential as children of God through the development of the spirit, mind, and body. Too often people talk about doing something and nothing happens. Because of you, we build a new Jackie Robinson Family YMCA. Instead of chasing upstream after donors and dollars, I've learned there's nothing more important than serving downstream by working with all stakeholders. In a recent sermon at St. Therese Church in Del Cerro, Father Bill Stevenson said, we can count ourselves among the wise when we practice being humble, refuse to exalt ourselves, and offer the gift of hospitality to those who cannot repay us. As I join the ranks of the Mr., Mrs., and Ms. San Diego honorees, I want to confirm I am unfinished. While growing up in Detroit, I attended Catholic schools K through college. While attending St. James High School, we were constantly reminded of this challenge by the writings of our school's namesake when he said, of what benefit is it, my brothers, if someone says he has faith, but he does not have works? That faith cannot save him, can it? If a brother or sister is lacking clothing and enough food for the day, yet one of you says to them, go in peace, keep warm and well fed, but you do not give them what they need for their body, of what benefit is it? So too, faith by itself without works is dead. Joseph Dreyer had the Heaven on Earth Club. I want to be in a club where I could spend my heaven doing good on earth and lead with love. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. believed we have before us a glorious opportunity to inject a new dimension of love into the veins of our civilization and the end is redemption, the end is reconciliation, the end is the creation of the beloved community. For 22 years, you've heard me repeat the quote from Jackie Robinson that is prominently displayed in the lobby of the new Jackie Robinson Family YMCA when he simply says, a life is not important except for the impact it has on other lives. Today I thank God for all of you for being impact players in the biggest game of all, the game of life, by spending your heaven doing good on earth, serving others before self. Now let us all go out and do more because our best is yet to come. On behalf of the San Diego Rotary Club 
in the 70, 67 years of past recipients of the Mr. Mrs. and Ms. San Diego Award, I'd like to thank KUSI News and the McKinnon Broadcasting Company for the opportunity to humbly acknowledge my appreciation of being named Mr. San Diego for 2019.